Welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho, guys and gals. It's Red, your friendly neighborhood tool bear, back again here in the old Den of Tools. And today we're here to talk about, ri oh, no, not Ravi Days, uh, Milwaukee the Heart? Uh, who was it? Bout? Nope, nope. It was Cobalt. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kid, I kid. You know what? Ryobi started this whole thing with the whole giveaway. You buy a battery combo pack and you get X tool for free. And everyone's copying it now. And that's a good thing, if you ask me. So now we're over at the old Lowe's here. And of course, because Cobalt is one of their house brands. And I got to say, I'm a huge fan of the Cobalt Power Tool line. It's it's often I often use it as my go to when people ask what's the best you know tool line I should get you know it it's in that Goldilocks zone in the sweet sweet center there and uh, so we got here you get a two amp hour and a four amp hour battery it yeah it'd be better if they're both four amp hour batteries but you know it is what it is you get the charger with it there's nothing really special about the Cobalt chargers they're decent chargers they're nothing to write home about but they're nothing to sneeze at either. That four amp hour battery, actually I have this battery. It's a fantastic battery. I like it a lot. It's a good workhorse battery. The two amp hour, it's good for light kind of stuff, but let's see what you get free with it. And we're going to step through it. And I, and I do have these in order. These are best to worst choices. And it's not just based on cost, although cost does weigh quite a bit into this. Because let's be honest, if you're getting a free tool, you want to get your free money's worth, right? So first up, we got to talk about this planer. Now I'll be honest. I've not used this planer, but I've talked to some people who said that they liked it. Uh, I talked to one person who said it was meh. That said, it it is a 24 volt. If you're in the cobalt line and you want a hand planer, it's the only option you got. And it's $160. On top of that, this is not something I see that goes on sale every so often or at all even. I don't know if I've honestly ever seen it on sale. So be able to get it free with this deal that's a pretty good option if you're looking for a planer. I realize it's kind of specialized and a lot of you may not be going that way. So let's take a look then over at this grinder. Who doesn't need a good grinder? This thing is a decent grinder. It, again, these are all, all going to be 24 volt. They're all going to be brushless because they're all in the cobalt power tool lineup. So you got the five inch paddle switch cordless grinder there. It is a good solid grinder grinder again it, this isn't something like it's oh my gosh i'm gonna write epic poems about but it is a solid workhorse it's got the night it's got the shock absorber in in the the grip there it's got the three mounting points you can put the uh, i believe i'm pretty sure you put the the uh, the tool or the you know the wrench in the handle also uh, correct me if i'm wrong on that but yeah uh, you know for it's normally 129 dollars it's a pretty good option how about this? Recip saw. You know the bear loves a good recip. And this is a pretty decent recip saw. Uh, it's got the quick release handle on it for doing blade changes. It's got a uh, good balance of that full front rubber overmold there for lots of grip space. Uh, and $129. Uh, it's a it's a good one. And you know, I keep saying they're nothing to write home about. That that's kind of a lot of the whole thing about cobalt. That's a lot of the whole thing about the Goldilocks zone. It, it, it's it's just right. It just fits right. Anyway, this is something to write home about. For for a hundred dollars. In fact, I want to see Torque Test Channel grab one of these things because I want to see how it does. Because I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and tell you this thing is going to provide just tons and tons and tons of torque. But I know guys who use the cobalt torque tools or the impact wrenches in their shop on a daily basis. Uh, guys guys who get paid for it. Usually smaller shop shops they own or they run that kind of stuff. Uh, but, you know, 150 pounds uh, of torque, ideal for tightening, blah, blah, blah. Variable speed trigger, uh, 0 to 2, was it 2,500 RPM? Uh, no load at 3,000 or 3,300, yada, yada, yada. It, it's a light duty impact, half inch, good solid tool there for $100. And then, of course, we also have the three quarter or three, sorry, three quarter, three eighths inch uh, impact wrench as well. So those are both solid options. Moving along, the the framing ri ripping saw here, this is your Cirque saw, six and a half inch. Yeah, I know a lot of people are like, I want a seven. I rarely have run into a situation where I'm not saying there's not one. You can create any situation you want out there. But when it comes to, you know, traditional lumber, uh, six and a half inch does Pretty much everything most kind of, you know, uh, when you're building something out of, you know, a dimensional lumber, it's going to cut most of the stuff you need it to cut. 
Uh, and it's a decent saw. It's got a nice solid plate. That's what I really like about it. Of course, it's brushless, which is really important in a Cirque saw. Uh, it's just a, a really good saw. I'd say it's better than average. This is a nice little multi-tool here. $99 is the value on it. This is a good, solid, middle-of-the-road pick. If, you, if you've got the other stuff covered, I would definitely feel good about going with this multi-tool. Uh, it, it's got the quick-release lever up top. Uh, it, I wish it did have the thumb, you know, I wish it was more of a trigger kind of style, but it is what it is. Uh, it's variable speed. Not that I use variable speed a lot with my multi-tools, I'll be entirely honest with you, but it's a good, solid brush, and brushless, that's the whole thing. With multi-tools, just like circuit saws, they often have long run times. That means every time you pull the trigger, it's a lot longer than, like, say, with an impact or with a drill driver until you let go. That means that the battery life is going to be a bigger issue, and that's where the brushless tech comes into play. Next up is one I is, I know some of you are like, hey, how can you put the E-Wrench the e this far down? And it's because, or it's just called E-Ratchet, I guess, it, I don't like the longitudinal uh, uh, setup on this. In fact, I'm not a fan of any of these ratchets that are based off of the the full power batteries. The I think the 12 I think the 12 volt format works better for these styles of, of ratchets. Uh, the, you know, you often need to get into tight quarters, and this thing's like a lightsaber. Uh, I've got the skill 12 volt version. That's in the same format. Again, it's like, it's huge. It's, I don't like it. Uh, it doesn't work. Totally works. Will the cobalt one work? Totally work. Do I like the form factor? Nope. Here, here's the one little problem. It's the only option if you're going to stick in the, uh, the 12 volt or 24 volt system here with cobalt. Here, here's my solution. It, it's okay to have more than one battery platform. Get a 12 volt pl battery platform, get a one off the, you run your, your ratchets off of. It's totally fine. You can have one more charger over there. It won't kill you. All right. The heat gun, it, it, by all accounts, it's a good heat gun. I know two people who have it. I've talked to them. They, they say they like it. The only reason it's further down on the list is this is something I see going on sale. This is going to be something that's going to get discounted throughout the season, especially like after summer, there's going to be this, we have this whole, uh, the, the whole crest of sales that happens over summer, uh, ending with uh, labor day. And then right after labor day, there's going to be a crash right up until, uh, you know, uh, th you know, Thanksgiving, black Friday. So I'm just going to say, uh, hold off on this unless you really need it right now, because I bet it will go on sale for like half price. Speaking of going on sale for half price, this thing has been half price at many stores, and I'm guessing it will be again. It's a it's a good fan. Don't get me wrong. A lot of the guys over on the Facebook group have this fan. John, for instance, I would say he might have too many. He he has a fan problem. This is I guess it's his fan club. Anyway, moving along, we've got the shop blower here at fifty nine dollars. It's a it's a nice little shop blower. It is. It's not bad at all. But at fifty nine dollars, why not just buy one? You know, or if, if and these go on sale also, that, that's not. I wouldn't waste my free item on on something like that. I, you got to save up your free cash because you don't know whenever you might need more free money. And then we got this. Look at this. This is this is not part of the kit. Okay, you can't you can't get the two batteries and then get this. But it kind of is a kit in and of itself. Um, well, I mean it is, but like the free options because. It comes with the two amp hour battery and then it's got the charger in the bag and then you get the four amp hour battery free. Well, if you got the two amp hour battery and the four amp hour battery in the charger, you've got this kit. So I guess they're making you pay, oh, let me go over here, an extra, was it 10 bucks? Was this 129 versus 139? So you're paying an extra 10 bucks for the option to get the drill driver in it. But why not? I mean, think about it. If you did both of these, You'd have two four amp hours, two two amp hours, two chargers, and you'd get two tools with it as well. That's that's not a bad deal for was it two sixty two seventy whatever the math is on that. Now, if you really if you're not in on cobalt and you're like this is it, this is it, bear. I'm gonna push all in all my chips in. I want to go full bear, I mean full bore on uh, on the old cobalt line. Go with this. This is a great great option. $400, it's $100 off, you get, this is not just the standard stuff, this is the XTR, this is bordering, kicking the doors, you know, up with the big boys here, like with Milwaukee and, and all those guys, it, this is, 
This is getting serious in that pro value kind of market. And you get the recip, you get the hammer drill, you get the, the impact driver, and you get the circus saw. Plus you get a work light, you get a uh, the extended, uh, or sorry, the ultimate output battery there, the four amp hour and the regular two amp hour battery. You get the charger and you get that great, you know, hard case, you know, rolling luggage box there with it as well for $400. I mean, you break it down, it's $100 per tool, but the, this is the XTR line. This is a step up. And remember, all Cobalt stuff comes with a five-year warranty. Uh, you know, you just take it right to the store for service. If you haven't seen my video on, on warranties, you got to go check that out. We break it down for you, cover all the warranties of all the different tools in all the three different levels. That's the DIYer level, you the Value Pro, and the Professional level tools. And we tell you which one's the best in each case. So go check that video out. Anyway, I gotta tell you, this is if you're looking to get into cobalt and you want to be serious about it, jump in with both feet, both feet and go that way. Anyway, I'm gonna have links to everything down below, and if you got any questions, of course, put it down in the comments. Love to hear them. Also, I'm looking for video suggestions. A lot of the videos that we do are viewer suggested. If you've got something you want to see, put it down in the comments. Uh, I tried to read all the comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to chop the old like button, smash the subscribe. Ring that bell on your way out. That's all the bear has for you today. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.